Yeah. All right, you Tommy. My track club shirt on. Yeah, yeah. So you still got the three straps on there. I got the sweatshirt there. on. There it go. was too hot in here. <laughs> How's it feel to be back? Good, sh good day for the team. Very good day. Pleased with the way we competed. That's what the what we came here to do today. You know, um, wasn't about like seeing how fast we could run or anything like that. Really, just about getting in competing, and uh, I was really pleased with the way we executed that today. So for, let's start with some of the big wins. So Olivia, first one, yep. kind of how was it taking the reins on her training and how is she kind of adapting to, to your, your work? Um, you know, Olivia is, she's really very coachable, obviously. I, I mean, not obviously, but she, she's been very easy to work with. I, she, I, she did have an ankle injury that she has been dealing with since last indoor of last year. So she had PRP over the summer and we took it real slow with her. Um, She's obviously, you know, got a lot of speed, but I want to try to harness the, the tactics a bit. And she was did really well with that today. And so I was extremely pleased with the way she executed. Then Luciano secures a spot for the Millrose games in the 800. He was pretty emotional afterwards in terms of, like, being jacked up. So, I mean, for, for him, I mean, you've been holding on to his training for the last couple of years. What, what stands out to you now that, like, he's got the contract, like, there's that relief that's off his shoulders? Yeah, I think there's a lot of things that way. I mean, it, 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 honestly, you know, it's like a couple of years of development, right, and training and putting in the work and, he's a, you know, just a, such a professional that way. Like he's always doing the work, doing the way it work the way it's supposed to be done. The detail, the detail is incredible, you know, so... I think that's what you saw today, you know, he, then he, got, yeah, he gets down to Atlanta, we go to altitude, he's there for a month, locked into training camp, and just, you know, he's just been getting fitter and fitter. It's a continuum over the last couple of years. You know, John and I here, you know, the last couple of years, and now down there, we can really lock in and focus a little bit more, as far as like not, and not having to run around as much work and these kinds of things, but I think it's really at the trajectory he was on. Yolanda secures her place in the Wanamaker Mile. I mean, how, how are things going with her? Going really well. She also, you know, had um, had some injuries. Like, she hasn't actually been able to train consistently for a very long time. Like, I couldn't, I, I was surprised even when I got down there that she was only running like five days a week and these kinds of things. So, we just changed things a little bit to get her more consistent where she's actually running seven days a week. Um, and, uh, I think that's made a big difference for her and just getting her in a weight room and doing some other things that like she I think really has benefited from um, and um, just being a little bit more consistent that way uh, she's been doing this a long time you know so it's more about like trying to keep her healthy and then just fine-tuning things from what she's been doing already obviously she's been doing this a long time she's got a lot of work under her belt now it's just about kind of harnessing that and sharpening her up you know keeping them, keeping them confident so what's the next big meet for you guys Back here um, in a couple weeks? Well, yeah, well, now that we have, we got Olivia and uh, Luce and um, Yolanda here. We'll go to BU for the Valentine. We, we just come in from New Mexico straight here. We got Albuquerque for a month. So we'll go down to Atlanta now, uh, reap some benefits of the uh, the altitude and train turnover a little more. And uh, and then we'll send uh, pretty much anyone who is ready and healthy to BU uh, for the Valentine and then come back the following week to USA based on who's qualified. Nice. All right, well, good luck, Tommy. Thank you so much.